So I have to find voltage V1 here, V2 here and V3 here. And this one as we can see this is a voltage controlled voltage source. The controlling voltage is this one and this is a voltage source here. So let's start by assuming uh, this one to be the ground. So let's say this is a zero volt. So from going here to here we have a 12 volt rise so this point is 12 volt then from this point to this point here there is 4 volt drop so this point here should be I will just put an arrow there should be 12 volt minus 4 volt that is 8 volt so yeah this is just volt V1 Now, this one here says this is a drop this way towards the arrow, the direction of the arrow. There is this, this is drop, voltage drop. So the drop is 4Vx. But if this point is 8 volt here, this is ground, then Vx must be 8. So Vx is 8 because from 0 to Vx is rise and then this point is 8 volt. So this drop has to be 4 into 8 is 32. So if this point is 8 here, this point here will be 8 minus 32 which is 8 minus 32 is minus 24. So this point's volt will be minus 24 volts that is this point okay so now we know this point is 12 this point is 24 so v1 will be minus 24 minus 12 which is minus 36 volt so that's our v1 now from 24 to this one here there is a 6 volt drop so this volts will be this point will be minus 24 plus 6 that is minus 18 um, actually minus 24 minus 6 sorry so it will be because 6 more volt drops here this direction so minus 6 24 minus 6 is minus 30 so this is minus 30 volts here that is this point so v2 will be now if I look at v2 v2 the positive side of v2 is minus 30 because this point is minus 30 and this point the negative side is 8 so minus 8 so we get minus 38 volt over there then finally V3 V3 will be just minus 30 because this point is minus 30 so basically minus 30 minus 0 because this is ground is minus 30 volt so these are the voltages there V2, V1 here, V2 here and V3 here.